How's it going, everyone? Oh, y'all have been sitting a long time. Okay, do me a favor. Are you ready? Stand up. Stand up, stand up. You've been sitting for a long time. I'm an elementary person. We have to move. Here's what I need you to do. Take a big stretch. Look to the, okay, now put your arms down because we're all friends. Look to the person next to you and say, guess what? I am an artist. All right, well, that was okay. That was somewhat confident. We're going to work on it. Look to the other person on the other side of you and say, hey, guess what? I'm an artist. Did you believe it? One more big stretch. All right, have a seat. Let's dive in. All right, I too am an artist. I, yes, am an elementary principal. I'm sure that you were all thrilled to have a principal on a Saturday talk at you, but we're gonna interact here. Um, so this was me in 1985. I was an artist then, I'm an artist now. But finding that artistic expression and identity uh, came back to me later in life. And it came to me in a time where my life was kind of crazy and chaotic. Raise your hand if you've ever had chaos. Raise your hand if you've ever had stress. If you're not raising your hand, you're lying. Raise your hand if you've ever had joy. All right, those of you who didn't raise your hand, now's your uh, bathroom break time. Um, but for everyone who's sticking around, um, I really found my artistic voice during a time when my entire family was in crisis. Um, I have two incredible children um, who are here, wave back there, they're back there, a uh, 10-year-old and now a six-year-old, um, and an incredible husband, he's back there too. Um, and when my son, uh, Rex, was 17 months old, he was diagnosed with stage four high-risk neuroblastoma, which is a form of cancer. Yeah, someone's like, whoa, it's a bad deal. It is a bad deal. So we were immediately in the midst of chaos. And as someone, as an elementary principal, who kind of likes things to be in order and kind of likes a little bit of control, that was a very chaotic time for me. And I was really looking for a way to express myself and to find myself and to center myself. And so a lot of people reached out and they said, hey, what can I do for you? Of course, I had no idea. You know, I think the first thing I told a friend was, uh, can you bring me three uh, stacks of post-it notes and two pencils? I mean, it didn't make sense at all. But as I got further and further along, as my son went through treatment, um, I would start to ask for canvases. I would say, can you just send in some canvases and some paint? It can be cheap paint, it doesn't matter. Um, and I would paint. And it was a time that I really was able to find my voice. There's also another element of that, and that is for my children. My children began to express themselves artistically. There we are, that was uh, my son, Rex, the day his hair started falling out, and our daughter, who was in kindergarten at the time, and my husband, who about five minutes before had quite a bit more hair on his head, but he was, you know, solidarity, he shaved his head um, along with Rex. But we started to explore within um, an art space. And you can see that my son started off with the big old smile, whole lot of hair, painting. He had fun. It was joyful. You can see my daughter, the pride in her, her face when she was able to paint. This was a really hard time in our life. And I just want you to take a moment and look at the joy that you see on their faces as they're painting. So for me, as I started painting and I started to find my voice artistically, I grew in confidence. I grew in clarity. Everything was clearer. My goals were clearer. My focus was stronger. That was an actual picture in one of the hospital rooms. You can't see the full picture, but what it is is my daughter's doing a cheerleading move on my leg. My son is walking in the opposite direction with an IV pole. The IV thing is across my face. I'm stressed. Chaos. That's what was going on in my life. So when I began drawing and painting and sketching, I found so much clarity and strength and a voice. I was writing during that time. I was talking to friends during that time. But for me, for my time, I was able to pause and paint 
In fact, even on days when I'm really struggling, I'll come home, and it's funny because my husband will say, do you need to paint? It's clear. You know, he's like, all right, kids, we've got to clear out of the entire half of the house because I can't just have one space. You know, I'm artistic. So we put down all of these drop cloths, and I start painting, and there's paint everywhere, and uh, they accept me for that. That's okay. Um, but that's a time when I can really find my focus. When I initially started painting, I was painting words. I was painting fine little drawings, and it wasn't my voice. So I found this new artistic way of painting that's called acrylic flow. Who's heard of it? Well, the rest of you have to come to X Labs because we're going to do it together. But what it is is you have this acrylic that you're pouring, and it flows on and off and around on the canvas, and it creates this beautiful picture. And that is where I found my clarity. So it empowered me as I went back to work, because I had been out of work for a year with our son while he was going through treatment. Um, and when I went back into the workforce as an assistant principal at the time, um, I had the opportunity to go into classrooms. Who's a student here? Yeah. OK, have you ever gotten in trouble for doodling in class? Anyone? No one? Well, we're far more progressive now, I guess, than classrooms. I got in trouble for doodling as a kid. I would sit in the back, I would draw little pictures. And for me, I don't know if you noticed, I'm a little, I kind of have a little bit of ADHD. So for me, to be able to sit and listen and draw and capture the meaning and extract the, the meaning of the presenters and to create my own understanding of the content, I was able to really refine my learning. And so that's something that I was able to go around to classrooms, elementary K through five, and teach sketchnoting. Sketchnoting, do you know what sketchnoting is? Some of you do, yeah, yes. Sketchnoting is where you take ideas that you're learning and you mix it with words and pictures so that it's much narrower in focus and you extract a finer meaning, meaning for yourself that you can walk away with and explain to others. So that was another way, it was just a, an element of confidence that I built in being able to share with others this passion of mine um, within the classroom. So you can see I was working with some students at first. They were like, so you mean we can sit and draw? They love it. Uh, yes, you can sit and draw. And even had to tell teachers, you can't, they can't get in trouble for drawing. Like, the principal has encouraged them now to draw. They have to be able to do it. So this visual thinking can really help with clarity. So if you haven't found your inner artist, I want you to do that today. Because you've just told two people that you're an artist, right? Sit. All right, let's do it again. Let's just say it out loud into the universe. I am an artist. I believed you. I know you are. If you're not, come on down to X Labs. So you can see, as I began to refine my practice, I was able to create pieces that were, that were flow, acrylic flow. And I found my clarity, and I found my voice in a way that was really meaningful for, you, for me. And you have that voice. And that's what I want to empower you to do, is to find that creative expression and that voice that empowers you, that gives you confidence, that gives you clarity, that helps you focus, or that helps you escape. Because sometimes art can be an escape. Sometimes it was for me. But I want you to find your voice in art, in artistic expression, and find your healing, and feel empowered to improve yourself through your artistic expression. I believe in you, artists. Go, go create something today. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate you letting me visit with you today. Come paint with me and I'll see you soon. <laughs>